Hello guys, and welcome to this EC Aquatics video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up an easy bristlenose pleco breeding aquarium. So bristlenose plecos require a tank of at least 20 gallons uh, to live in comfortably. And this tank right here is a 20 gallon long aquarium. So it is 30 inches long, 12 inches tall, and 12 inches wide. So since we're setting up a breeding tank, we want the setup to be simple and something that we can easily take apart to catch out fry and something easy to put back together. But obviously we also don't want anything, you know, to be completely bare. I like my breeding tanks to have at least something that I can look at and have it look nice. That's not just bare and gross and ugly. So bristlenose plecos also love driftwood and driftwood is actually a must in any bristlenose pleco tank because plecos will munch on the driftwood and it gives them uh, nutrients. So we'll be including lots and lots of driftwood in this tank and not a lot of plants because we don't really need any plants for a breeding tank like this. Bristlenose plecos don't require any plants um, to breed. And the last component that we really need is going to be pleco caves. And those are PVC caves that the plecos will actually breed in. They're sections of PVC pipe. And uh, I'll pop up a link to a video that I made a while ago showing how to make these pleco caves very easily. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add in our sand. And for that, we are going to be using play sand, which is very cheap. Uh, I'll leave a link to some play sand down in the description from Home Depot, but it's uh, it's something like 10 bucks for a, a massive bag of it. It's very cheap, very easy, and it actually looks really good. Uh, I've even used it in um, like display tanks, and it looks awesome. So we're gonna be using that as our sand uh, in the tank. We, we're not gonna require a very deep sand bed because we're not gonna be planting into it, just, you know, like a light dusting to cover the bottom and to allow the plecos to kind of dig in uh, the sand just a little bit. Now that our sand is in, I'm going to start adding bits of driftwood. And I've got a whole bunch of driftwood pieces right down here. And uh, I'm just gonna start playing around with them and seeing, you know, what kind of comes together in this tank. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, I'm just gonna add in a whole bunch of those pieces and make them uh, look nice. All right, so I've come up with a little uh, composition that I really like, kind of two big like clusters of branches almost. I think it looks really good. It'll be easy to kind of recreate. When I, when I glue it all together, it'll look really nice. And so this driftwood is gonna float, obviously. So we're, we're gonna need to lock it down to some pebbles using some cyanoacrylate super glue gel. Uh, I'm gonna do that quickly and then I can add our pleco caves after that and then we'll kind of be done scaping. All right, so now uh, our hardscape should be glued down, and now I'm going to add in our pleco caves. And here they are. I've got two of them, and you're gonna want at least two, if not more. I'm probably gonna end up adding in a couple more um, at some point. But as you can see, a PVC pipe with a little end cap on the end, uh, and I'm just gonna add these in. So you wanna add uh, multiple, so your male pleco can pick out which one he actually wants to use uh, to breed in. You want to give him choices. You want to give him different sizes because some males want bigger caves, others want smaller caves, and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to add these uh, into the tank uh, in areas that I think uh, the male is going to uh, enjoy. So now uh, that all that is in, I'm going to leave the tank for a couple hours while the super glue dries. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add in a couple of plants that I am gonna be using. And then we're gonna fill it up and add our filter and heater. All right, so it's now been a couple hours and the glue has all set. So now we are going to add in 
uh, the few plants that we are going to be using in this tank. All right, so the plants that we're going to be using are Anubias, and these are very easy to grow, and we are going to glue these down onto our hardscape, um, so this way the plecos aren't gonna be able to dig them up. So just gonna add a little touch of green, and uh, yeah, that's basically all they're for. They're not necessary in a pleco breeding tank, but I wanna add them because I really like uh, plants. So we're also gonna be using our gel type super to attach these. Uh, and the way we attach them, we take them by the rhizome after we put the glue down. And hold for about 10 seconds. So and then this big Anubius right here that uh, is glued down to a rock already, I'm just going to toss in uh, the tank right in the center right here. There we go, we're now uh, fully planted. And you guys don't know how badly I wanted to add in like a ton more plants of all different types in there, but I had to restrain myself because this is a breeding tank, not a uh, fully planted aquascaped uh, aquarium. So that's all the planting that we're gonna do uh, right now. So now we're gonna rig up the filter that we're gonna be using. And in this tank, we're gonna be using this Hyger uh, sponge filter. And uh, Hyger was nice enough to send this to me for free. Uh, so thank you, Hyger, for sending me this. And we're gonna try it out, see how it how it works. It's nice and nice and bulky, really big. It's got a lot of this filter sponge on it, which is perfect. And it's got some media, filter media down below that'll help with biological and as well as mechanical filtration. So you got the mechanical part right here with the sponge and you got the biological part with those filter balls. So hopefully this is going to be a really good uh, sponge filter for this tank, and I think it's uh, going to be. So now we're gonna add this into the tank. All right, there we go. Our filter is now installed. Now we're gonna set up the heater and we can fill the tank up. So the heater that we're gonna be using is this little preset Aquion 100 watt heater. Uh, it's a very simple little heater to install and very cheap, so that's what I'm using because uh, I just had this laying around. It's perfect for a, a 20 gallon tank. So I'm just gonna hook it up right next to the, the filter. Right over there. And now we can fill the tank up. Now, that's, now the tank's filled up, and yes, it looks very, very cloudy, but uh, we need to first add our water conditioner, and then we can add in some AccuClear to get the tank cleared up. So first we're gonna add in our water conditioner. And now we're gonna add in our AccuClear. And what AccuClear does is it binds all those particles of sand together and makes them uh, sort of sink to the bottom and get and where we can where I can uh, clean them out with a gravel vac and the filter can filter them out as well. So uh, once I add this in, this should take you know a couple hours and the tank should be quite clear. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna give you guys uh, an update tomorrow on how the tank is doing. Alrighty, so it's now the next day, and as you can see, everything has. Uh, really cleared up a lot. It looks really, really good. Uh, that's really all I have uh, today. I'm not going to add in the fish just yet because I have to cycle the tank. So thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you all in the next one.